What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over encapsulation when working with object oriented programming in Lua. What is encapsulation? It's basically a fancy word for hiding something from the surface level. Well, in this case, it's from the surface level. Um, so what do I mean by surface level is that let's imagine we have our class here. A printer class. Um, this is just a module. Yeah, imagine there's a whole class set up right there. And then our server script, we're requiring our class and then we're creating a new instance of our class. This would be the surface level, creating the new instance, using our methods, that stuff, that'd be surface level. And so why would we want to hide from our surface or from the surface level um, is because it can keep our surface level code much more organized and it can also prevent us from making mistakes, um, especially when working on a large project. So here's our class. So the first thing that we can do is we can create a prototype. So creating a prototype of our printer class, um, printer prototype index is printer prototype. Here is our, uh, class our printer new function and i'm just going to pass in a name for this example uh so we have local self equals table then we can do self dot name equals name and then we can return set meta table self and then printer prototype Okay, so what this is gonna do is, let's say we have this here, we have our instance on surface level, and we go in and we try to create another instance through accessing our instance and using the new function. So right here, it's not gonna let us be able to do that. And that's just strange behavior. We would never want to be able to do that. Um, and so, that's why we set up the prototype um, instead of just going directly in printer. Cause you know, typically you'll have um, this be uh, the, the printer crash directly will, will be that. And then we'll be able to use this and we can print out another instance. Um, and so now we have another another instance that we've created through our uh, our first um, instance, which we just don't want. We only want to be able to create instance through calling on the class. And so that's why we set up a, um, a prototype uh, like that. So the next thing we can do is we can use meta table and say this meta table is locked and now if we were to try to set the meta table i don't know to just something to just something random um oh, what did i do there oops all right so if we were to try to set the meta table for this instance to another meta table, we're not going to be able to do that either. We're going to get this error. Cannot change a protected meta table. Um, so that's another thing that we can do to just make it so that we can't do certain things on the surface. Um, and another thing that we can do is we can use new index function now new index gets the three r arguments um three three parameters pass through which i believe are the uh itself and then its key and then its value um but we don't we're not using any of those so we can leave those blank and then we're just going to error this meta table is or this meta table is locked and so what this does is let's say if we were to uh add in um uh health equals 80 
we shouldn't be able to do that. We should be able to get an error. Um, we should get an error saying that this metal table is locked like we just did. So, so now we can't add any new indexes to our instance. We don't have control over our instance like that. So that's another thing that we can do. Um, but if you see, if we go into name and we go into, we're changing the name to, uh, Oh, I already did Jerry, so I'll do Tommy. So we're changing the name to Tommy. If we were to print our instance, then you should be able to see that it ends up changing to Tommy. That is also some behavior we don't want or we may not want on the surface. So what we can do for that is add a private, private table for our class. So printer private. And then what we can do here is we can say we have a private table as well. And then instead of self.name, it's private.name. And then at the bottom here, we can go into our printer private and create a new index of self and all our property and give it all our properties like that. This way, if we were to try to change the name doing this method, it, it, it'll give us our new index error because that index doesn't exist according to our instance because it is stored in this private table. Um, and then if say we wanted to be able to change it, um, then we would just create create our uh, a prototype method thing change name and then we would say uh, we'd pass in a name that we want to give it and then we would um, and then we would say private dot name equals name we could have new name that would probably be a more clear uh name for that um and then we can have display name so we can just use this to test and we can say return print um printer private self dot name so now let's use instance change name to um Tori, and then we can have inst display name. All right, and let's see if that works for that. So now we have that. We changed it to Tori successfully. And so what we can do with this is we can say, you know, if 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 we can pass in the uh, the player as well, um, and say like something like if uh, they don't have credentials, you know, like if they don't have credentials to change then return and so we would have a little condition saying um that if this player doesn't have the credentials to change their name then we're not going to give it to them um so that's another thing that that you guys can do um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace